Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ranjita Soni, Faculty of Environmental Science, Jagannath University, Jaipur. So today I will discuss about the noise pollution and their effects. Basically, noise pollution is what? Basically, noise pollution is uh, unwanted sound which releases various, various kinds of impacts on not only on human health but also on overall environment. So, it releases various kinds of sickness or health hazards. Basically, we can say uh, as per their activity of uh, uh, work, so uh, sound will be generated and it will affect on environment and various kinds of health issues so uh, we can say just another word or another term of noise sound pollution basically it becomes undesirable because uh, because normal activities like working sleeping or communication will be affect or interfere by the sound or uh, noise activities but uh, this kind of pollution not just like uh, air pollution and water pollution where we will affect uh, we will see their effects directly on visually uh, we can feel or smell or taste so it is a different kind of uh, pollution and as per the WHO uh, we can say noise be recognized as a major threat to human well beings now these are some sources where they uh, generate the noise pollution like the first source if we talk about the transportation or automobile where the pressure horn will be used in the uh, automobiles vehicle, vehicles two wheelers and four wheelers trains and we can uh, see just the uh, various or uh, huge uh, sound will be generated from the uh, aircrafts or supersonic jet also the transportation system basically generate the huge amount of uh, noise then construction activities and uh, we can say uh, some other uh, noises will be generate on highways and street areas not only from the automobiles or machineries if maybe loud uh, noise or loud sound they will also affect on health or other activities Industries uh, is another part which will be generate the noise or sound pollution because uh, it usually uh, relates with uh, various kinds of activities by using various kinds of machines or instruments. Then loudspeakers or DJs which will be used in festivals, carnivals or marriages. So it also generate the huge amount of sound. Then plumbing, boilers, generators air conditioners then fans vacuum cleaners that means so many kinds of appliances which can be used in uh, domestic areas like mixer ground, grinder mobile phone uh, music then uh, again music system and pressure cooker horns so uh, there are a lot of appliances which uh, usually generate the noise so if we talk about the which kind of effects basically effects on human health so we can see some kind of chronic exposures chronic means it's a long time effect so if we will uh, stay in a long uh, time in a particular kind of noise or sound like if we stay in a dj sound for around four to five hours so it will be very panic or harmful for our health because it will uh, usually generate a reversible deepness reversible deepness means a short time deepness but when we uh, basically away from these kinds of things so we can uh, feel normal or regular so basically chronic exposures usually uh, feels those persons which are continuously contact uh, with uh, regular heavy machines they are working so basically in industrial people or uh, lab labors usually feels the chronic exposures of sound then uh, some other unwanted uh, sound or noise usually affect which kind of uh, human effects other uh, basically they are related with non auditory effects like hypertensions which relates harmonic issues like blood pressures sugar levels then uh, mm, sleep interference communication interference and the tinnitus hearing loss and other high stress level issues basically it will affect our uh, hormonal uh, disturbance which uh, uh, regulates by the pituitary gland in our brain or other adrenal gland also so it will affect uh, our uh, body activities now high level or high noise level also affect on our cardiovascular diseases then uh, it relates with some coronary arteries disease 
then if we talk about the effects not only on human beings but we can see the effects of noise on animals also because some animals may be uh, fatigue due to the uh, sudden or high level noise they can affect their communication activities and the reproduction activities by the uh, access of sound now some other effects of uh, like wildlife and aquatic life like hormonal imbalance chronic stress panic or escape behavior they they can uh, found then abundant of offspring the effect on their reproduction processes injury then increases of loudness of inner species communication interspecies communication so overall uh, the activities of aquatic environment and terrestrial environment also so they will affect their uh, health if we talk about their ma measurement so basically the unit of uh, sound or noise usually measured by in bell decibels which is a 10th log part of bell and uh, it basically re relates with the sound intensity so with the help of sonometer or uh, usually today uh, nowadays we are using digital uh, meters sound meters so we can just check the noise of the surrounding environment with the help of this digital meter then uh, some uh, noise control strategies we can follow uh, by taking some controlling measures like if we are using some plantations uh, like planting bushes so we have some examples of plants uh, if we use this these kinds of species they can absorb a little bit amount of uh, noise like if we are using coconut tree jamun tree then uh, some banyan trees so these can be absorb uh, some amount of noise if we are using regular checking servicing or tuning of the automobiles so it will be help to generate less sound from the machine or automobiles then building constrictions we can use uh, some absorbing material we can use some uh, uh, acoustic tiles and uh, some chemicals uh, for the reduction of these kinds of noise and uh, we can use these kinds of colors or chemicals on walls and windows and ceilings for the absorption of sound if we talk about uh, about the industrial labor or workers because they are working uh, around the 10 uh, 10 hours working in the industries in heavy machineries or heavy noise so uh, they may be use ear plugs or ear muffs uh, to reduce the sound effect on their health then similarly uh, we can use lubricant oils for the machineries to stop the uh, basically uh, minimize the noise generation by the frictions then soundproof doors or soundproof walls can be used in the dj floors or dj rooms or disco thacks and uh, we can use time to time uh, change the old machineries also some regulations we can adopt uh, by using uh, loud uh, play of loud speakers and in crowded areas we can stop these kinds of things uh, as we know uh, after uh, 10 pm at the night we cannot use the loud speakers so we should follow these kinds of uh, things so that we can uh, just save the uh, adverse effect of no uh, noise or sound not only on the uh, young generations but also we can help to our older ones then factories or industries should be located far areas so far from the residential colo colonies so that the major effect of noise uh, we can save from those areas community development or urban management should be done with long term planning so along with the aim of reduce noise pollution now social awareness should be uh, compulsory or mandatory because uh, these type of program should be taken to reduce or educate the public about the causes effects of noise pollution so thank you